Welcome back, all you amazing warriors. Ha! <laughs> Another episode, We Landscapes Life Stories. It's early, I had to be up here early, and uh, I was out at 11.30 last night picking up I need for this sod. Uh, talk about an issue that you always need to look ahead for, and hmm, I think I dropped the ball on this one, but I fixed it, fixed the problem. You have to be able to adapt adjust use your mind your resources all your contacts all your friends and get missions accomplished sometimes when stuff goes wrong that doesn't mean you're gonna lose time doesn't mean you're gonna lose money you just gotta be good up here <laughs> so hey paradise out here this is what uh this is what creates your beautiful neighborhoods that all you mowing men make money mowing Let's go. We got the job site. So, we are back on site. <laughs> Boys did a great job while I was gone. Getting more accomplished as we move through. And uh, before I tell you the most important thing that you have to make sure is there for your use on these side projects, we're going to do a little demo on connecting these the ends of these pipes in this situation every situation is going to have different things that it calls for okay different methods of disposing dispersing the water can't really throw it to the next lot because uh there's gonna be two new houses there so i can't throw their water directly into their lot let's check it out so this is where my drain ends and um I had the pop-up valves for this situation. I'm gonna have to do some digging to give myself a little bit more room to uh, install these little dudes. So give me a minute and we'll get it done. All right, guys, there's our exit point right there. And we do have a swell dug right here. You can't tell, I gotta get a different view. We do have a swell dug to keep it away from the uh, shed right here. So we should flew right there, perfect. So, I hope you guys uh, value that little pop-up valve insulation, uh, finishing of the French drain section. Uh, just, it always helps to watch someone do it if you've never done it before. So, it's really the only reason I did that. Uh, I'm going to get on to my secret weapon that, um, yeah, you got to have it, guys. You got to have it, okay? I'm going to show it to you. So... This is the uh, important conversation that you have to think of first before you get these sod jobs, all right? And like I said earlier, I kind of dropped the ball on it. I mean, I checked it, but I didn't check it, okay? The outside water source. <laughs> the biggest deal that there is if you want this stuff to live and thrive like you wish it would, okay? The water source here, it worked. I turned the faucet on, psh, and so flow of water. I was like, all right, cool. It's a brand new house. It'll be fine. It's running on a well system, so you can adjust the pressures when needed. Um, I came up here with one sprinkler head. It didn't even, it didn't do anything. Okay, just. So, even a hose, it would shoot 
five feet, six feet. I've got 5,000 square feet. So the solution in my mind, because you got to think quick because this stuff will fry really fast. The solution was find a watering tank source, okay? And contacts, people I've hung out with, people I've mentored, whatever the case is, they had a pressure washing business. I've used them to clean up jobs like this in the past. So I said, hey, tank, nice and clean, no chemicals in it. Let's get that bad boy in water. Yes, this is the solution to the issue that I had. It's a uh, nice little small setup and Ian's pulling it with his Jeep <laughs> Cherokee. Uh, hey guys, I'm gonna run this little bad boy. I'm gonna water this side in and I'm going to thank God for everything that he's given me. Um, you know, this experience, whether I'm on an up in life or a down in life, this experience has been amazing and I'm blessed to have had the opportunity. Uh, I don't experience too many ups and downs because at this stage of my life, I'm 46 years old. I've raised three males to be adults. I have a grandchild. I've been married for 26 years. I've been with my wife for 30 all together. So live and learn. I'm balanced. Okay. When you're balanced, it's hard to be shaken. When you're out here doing this work, issues come up. You have to be unshakable. Okay. Nothing that hits you can change you. Nothing that adds on to you can change you. you just got to take it and roll with it. Let's get this done. Yes. This is the solution to the issue that I had. It's a uh, nice little small setup, and Ian's pulling it with his Jeep <laughs> Cherokee. Uh, hey guys, I'm gonna run this little bad boy. I'm gonna water this side in, and I'm gonna thank God for everything that he's given me. Um, you know, this experience, whether I'm on an up in life or a down in life, this experience, has been amazing and I'm blessed to have had the opportunity. Uh, I don't experience too many ups and downs because at this stage of my life, I'm 46 years old. I've raised three males to be adults. I have a grandchild. I've been married for 26 years. I've been with my wife for 30 all together. So live and learn, I'm balanced, okay? When you're balanced, it's hard to be shaken. When you're out here doing this work, issues come up, you have to be unshakable. Okay. Nothing that hits you can change you. Nothing that adds on to you can change you. you just got to take it and roll with it. Let's get this done. So a huge shout out to the young warrior, Justin, who has been uh, doing his own thing for the last six years. And, you know, we had a good talk last night and he told me, you know, he, he was like, hey man, I have not, you know, put my whole 100% effort into this, okay? I just haven't. So, you know, that's the first step ever to um, growth, is admitting what you need to grow on, admitting your shortfalls and such. So, uh, Bro, you saved the day, you saved his job, and um, hey man, I can't even express how happy I am. <laughs> We're at the finish line here, working our way out, so we'll continue to get some footage, and um, I'll stop and talk where I see it's needed, alright?
Let me show you this tank real quick. So this is a nice little lightweight, 125 gallon pressure washing rig, okay? It's nothing expensive and uh, it's not too complicated to set up yourself if you're interested in getting one of these little bad boys. Uh, this hose he has set up here, you connect the client's water source to it and it continually fills up the tank as we spray. So uh, yeah, did some good rounds on that first and uh yeah thankful 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 we will carry on Oh yeah, all finished up. All right, Warriors, that's the end of the mission. And um, I do honestly want to stop and thank Dalton and Ian. These guys rocked out, I would say, 85%, 90% of the whole job, okay? And without these guys, it wouldn't have been possible. Without them rolling with me for the last three years, paying attention and caring about our quality, caring about how we carry ourselves on the jobs yeah we take our shirts off it's okay but my boys are respectful we treat everybody with the utmost respect and kindness always and we do a great job on site so look when you're growing going through stages of hiring people having people come help you you're gonna have to step away and drive and drive and drive and it's not it's not fun all right i didn't enjoy driving i would have much been here helping these guys and had someone else driving right but i don't know if these guys have anything to say but uh they know they have a nice healthy bonus check for doing jobs like these they always do and um that's the motivation yeah motivation right there hey i'm gonna let them talk here in a second if they want to here what do you say, dog? <laughs> i don't know uh, I don't really know 
what to say, but like we turned a two week job into five days of non stop working. How many total breaks did we have? Maybe like six. Like yeah. <laughs> the days we took lunch. <laughs> the days we took lunch. Maybe had a total of seven or eight stopping points to where we could catch our breath and breathe. While Mr. Randall was going to get more pallets. But hey, hard work and dedication pays off. That's right. We got all this done and the stuff behind us in five days. It's impressive if you don't think so, you come out here and do it. <laughs> <laughs> but. Yeah, the, motiv the money is the motivation, you know. Motivation. So we did it, did it good too. So we're happy with it. Happy with the, happy with the turnout. So Warriors, that's it, man. That's the uh, end of this series. Hopefully you guys tuned in. Hopefully you guys watched the uh, the time that you wanted to watch. You can fast forward through some of the crazy work and stuff. If you don't want to watch that. Well, you can fast forward me talking if you don't want to listen to me. <laughs> it's your TV. It's your smartphone. You do what you wish on this channel. But, um, hey, we love you guys being here, hanging out with us. And I love all the comments we've been getting. You guys really are a community of hardworking warriors. And um, with a warrior mindset and strong hands, you got to have a stronger heart, okay? Because love, above all, is the most important thing you can spread in the world. Hey, as always, be good if you can. Always be kind, and above all, love each other, right? Peace, all you landscape style. Ha, ha, ha.